Hi, good morning. My name is Amarendra Chitade and I am an NLP trainer, uh, a cognitive wellness interventionist and a founder of Agile Neuro. Today I am making this video because I have got a lot of uh, uh, questions from budding NLP trainers or uh, psychologists or coaches. And the question is that how do we get focus in kids? How do we get focus in adults also for that matter? And uh, so if you've done NLP, you will know this concept of pacing and leading. And I'm going to talk about that concept of pacing and leading. Although if you've not done NLP, that is still fine. Because uh, this example which I'm going to give you will help you in your in your life as well. Well, uh, pacing and leading. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you a story because this happened uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, th this I was in the car, I was driving my car and my... A uh, five and a half year old son, five year old son was sitting next to me. And we approached uh, the university signal which is there in Pune. Now those of you who have visited Pune and visited this university signal would know that there are a lot of beggars over there. In fact, child beggars are also there. I do a lot of stuff for them. Sometimes I give them food and, uh, you know, I don't give them money, but I, I give them food many times. Once in a week rather. And uh, so when we stopped over there at the signal, one seven eight year old uh, uh, child approached uh, uh, came came near the car knocked on the window and started asking for money my son started looking at him and that child started looking at uh, my son uh, that i think that uh, child who was outside the car was i think seven eight years old both of them were looking at each other as if to say why are you like that or why am i like this <laughs> Uh, so, you know, they, they couldn't make sense. And, I mean, I'm sure the child outside the car must be thinking that uh, the uh, life is so unfair. I mean, some kids just get everything and I don't. And my son was probably thinking that uh, I thought everybody gets everything that they want. And why is this child like this? Well, the child, um, uh, this my son looked at me and he said, Dad, tell me one thing. Uh, what is he doing? I said, he's asking for money. Why is he asking for money? My, my son asked. I said, uh, maybe because he's hungry, uh, with that money he's going to buy food. Uh, so then my son asked, why don't his parents uh, give him food? I said, uh, probably because they don't have money and hence, you know, uh, they can't buy food. Why, uh, daddy, don't they go, for, uh, go to office just like you do or just like mama does? Uh, uh, I said no because maybe they don't have a job. Why don't have? Why don't they have a job? I think they did not have. That's what I said. I said I think they did not have a chance to go to school or college and uh, learn some good things so that you know they could have a job or do something of their own. To which my son said suddenly, <laughs> he said, "Oh, that means, Dad." Are you saying that if I don't go to school or college and if I don't study well, I will end up at the university signal begging? His statement was quite graphic and uh, he had created that picture in his head. Well, I had to change that picture. I said to him, son, if you go to, let me just say this, that if you go to school or study and be a good person in your life, uh, and uh, help others uh, study well, go to college, study well over there as well, uh, live your passion, what, do whatever you like, okay, if you, are able, if you do that, then you, one day you will be able to buy that BMW car which you always wanted. By the way, this idea of BMW car is my son's idea, it is not my idea, okay. <laughs> I have not fed that thought in his head, but he likes BMW and that is why he wants it. He's been telling me uh, for quite some time that, you know, I should buy a BMW car, but you see, frankly, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so he, he has this ambition. So I just said that, you know, you can, you can get that car for yourself. Now, the, the background to all this is that my son, when he was four or five years old, uh, he did not like going to school. In the morning, whenever I would wake him up at 7.30, he would say, Oh, from today, I'm not going to go to school. <laughs> uh, so, next day, immediately after this incident, the next day morning at 7.30, I went to uh, wake him up. 
and and the same dialogue came in that uh, i am not going to go to school from today to which i said to go that's his nickname okay to go what will happen if you don't go to school suddenly his eyes opened <laughs> and he said oh i think i will end up at the university signal and then i said to him yes i know you have that in your head but tell me what will happen if you go to school and study well be a good person uh do what you like in the sense uh, you know work in the area which you which you like and and when you become big when you grow up you start uh, working and you do very well what will you be able to achieve now i paced and led him to get that uh to come to that conclusion that uh, that yes if i if i do this uh, if i study if i go to school if i study if i become a good person if i follow my passion blah 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 okay i'll be able to get that bmw car immediately when i paced and led him he got up from the bed went to the washroom did whatever he had to do uh got got dressed and i dropped him to school it's really very simple if you think about it to pace and lead kids because it's only about a matter of helping them find their ambition or passion and then you pace and lead them in a way so that they are convinced that they should be doing certain things to achieve certain things in life you see one important thing is that right from a small child to an to an old person nobody is going to do anything unless they find value in it okay so if you want uh Uh, if you want some people to have focus in their life you see the question is why should they have focus in life are they standing to lose anything if they don't have a uh, focus in life or if they have focus in life <laughs> or what are they uh, standing to gain if they have focus in life see these things have to be very clear and that's how people understand that okay by doing it's all cause and effect if i do this i get this if i don't do this i don't get this now what they stand to lose or what they stand to gain has to be from the client's model of the world or that child's model of the world or that adult's model of the world it's no point as a parent or as a leader or as a husband or as a wife telling the other person that you should achieve this well maybe they don't want to achieve it understand what they really like understand what they really want to achieve and then help them a pace and lead them so that they do everything that is needed to achieve that goal thank you very much